Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very quick speed paint for you. I looked up girl playing guitar on Pinterest and after using like three different references, I stuck with this one with kind of a fun lighting scenario. I realized that the character I'm drawing bears a lot of resemblance to a character I drew a year ago. So let's just assume it's the same character but with a glow up. And now that I've drawn her more than once, I think she deserves to have a name. Let me know if you have any suggestions down below. It was hard for me to believe that it was impossible to find a reference for a shirt like the one I drew here. Overall though, I feel her outfit looks pretty good. I wanted to give her some really cool and bold makeup but just went with some glittery blue eyeshadow. I love her earrings here and it's definitely something I'd like to own. So I'm really bummed I covered it up with hair later just because I hate drawing ears. Then came the most dreaded part of the process, painting hair. I think what scares me most about painting them is my lack of a clear process. It's definitely something I need to work on. I think the easiest way to sum up my hair painting process is me panicking until it feels right. As scared as I am of painting hair, adding these lighter strands floating randomly is one of my favorite parts of the process. I guess what I love about this painting is the mood and its vibe, especially after I did the edits. It had a very vintage feel and I'm all for it. Even before I started working on this piece, I knew I had to use this tutorial I saw somewhere on Instagram for painting glitter using motion blur. You can see the effect right about here. I love having guitars in my work, but I don't exactly enjoy drawing them quite as much. I very rarely get them to look right and it slightly offends me. It's hard enough digitally with all these wonderful tools available, so drawing them traditionally is an absolute nightmare and I avoid it no matter how bad I feel like drawing the dark. This one however passes for one and at this point that's all I need so I'm happy with it. Be sure to check out the final image which is up on my Instagram linked in the description. That's all for today's video, I hope you enjoyed. Please hit like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.